it's a three wire LED voltmeter. If you connect the yellow and the red together, the red is for powering the LED voltmeter and the yellow is for measuring the voltage. Hook up ground and you can see that it shows 4.1 volt. It measures 4.1 volt from my power supply. Hello Hectubers and welcome back to my channel and on the table I have all necessary electronic components for making or building today project and also I'm using this cheap one dollar LED voltmeter that you can buy it and use it for your projects or project just like mine. Okay, let's start today's video. And what I'm making today? I'm making adjustable voltage regulator using this guy which is LM317T that can handle to 30 volts and 1.5 amperes maximum. As I said here are the all electronic components plus I have the printed circuit board and now I'm gonna explain the circuit diagram. You can take a screenshot if you want to build your own adjustable voltage regulator. As I said, the main guy is the LM317 voltage regulator. We have four diodes for bridge rectifier, one electrolytic capacitor, one block capacitor of 100 nanofarads, two Zener diodes, one potentiometer, one resistor of 240 ohms, and that is for the uh, setting the current to maximum or 1.5 amperes, another Zener diode, electrolytic capacitor of 10 microfarads, 100 nanofarads capacitor, and the LED for indicating that the circuit is working fine. And sh here is attached the LED voltmeter that will measure the output voltage. All electronic components will be placed on the printed circuit board and will be soldered. And if you want to design and prototype a PCB like this, you need to visit a JLC PCB, which is sponsor of this video. Yes, prototype PCBs for only $2 at JLC PCB. How to order PCBs from JLC PCB? You need your Gerber files to upload on the website. And after doing that, you can choose the layers how many layers you want to have your printed circuit boards. You can choose the, the color and other settings. And after that, in a couple of days, you will receive your prototype PCBs from JLC PCB. Just take a look at quality of these printed circuit boards. They look amazing. And your printer circuit boards can look like this. Order it from JLC PCB for best quality. If you visit JLC PCB right now, you can get free coupons. Yes, for ordering a four layer, you can get $5 PCB coupon. For ordering a multi-color PCB order, you can get free coupons for $7. And also you can get $30 free coupons for ordering a 6 layer PCB order. Once again, thank you to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's start first with placing the diodes and the resistors. Okay, so far I have soldered the diodes for the bridge rectifier, the Zener diodes and the resistor for the LM317. Next is placing and soldering electrolytic capacitors and block capacitors.
Next is to place the LM317 voltage regulator on the heatsink and tie it with the screw. Must be a heatsink because maybe will give a lot of current and need to be cooled. All right. And this go right here. So far looking good. Next is placing the connectors. Voltage in and voltage out. Okay. Soldering the three wires from the voltmeter. As I said, ground voltage power supply for the voltmeter and the yellow is measuring voltage. Okay. Red. Okay, and using these tiny screws, I'm gonna tie it on the PCB board like this. And the last thing or last electronic component that need to be placed and soldered is the 10K potentiometer. finish and why I'm using a stereo potentiometer if you know please comment below Good. Finish it. Time for testing. Just to mention, this circuit will work on AC voltage input and will give DC voltage output. Yes, for this voltage regulator, the input voltage is AC. That's why I need a AC transformer. This one gives around 14 or 15 volts AC voltage. And I'm gonna connect on input right here. Okay, everything is connected and assembled. Let's test. Turning on in three, two, one. Wow, working, working fine. 1.26 volts. Yes, the minimum voltage for the LM317 is 1.25 volts. Increasing 3.7, 14, and the maximum is 15.8 volts. All right. I'm gonna hook up these leads and compare to the to my multimeter. Okay, connect into the multimeter. Negative to negative, re positive to positive. It's on AC, sorry. DC. 6.9 volts and here it's at 7.1. Let's change to 3.4, 3.4. How many is this? 3.2 volts, 3.171, it's close, 13.6, 13.4 and the maximum is 15.8, 15.7, it's alright, I like it, oh, let's test another thing, this is my USB electronic load tester that works on 5 volts at, and maximum it pulls three amperes and now we're gonna test this does this thing give one amp or more 
right now at 5 volts two rows are on that means 1.2 amperes look good let's go into 1.8 the dr voltage drop that is okay 1.7 amperes all right i made the upgrade to my usb electronic load tester placing a metal what is this some kind of whole metal piece to protect from burning my fingers but in the same time giving the heat good okay so today project turned out pretty cool and working fine that was all in today's video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya Ooh. I love electronics makes me to feel good